and I know a lot of stories, but I want to tell you kind of like a personal story because I think that's where the rubber meets the road most uh, profoundly. So as, as a young person, my father got murdered and my mom started drinking. And I felt like I was drowning in pain and uh, hopelessness, really. So I decided to migrate to the U.S. And uh, when people hear my story sometimes, you know, all the details, they, um, they were trying to be helpful, but they started treating me a little bit like damaged goods. There's something wrong because it was so dramatic and compelling. And, and I started buying into that a little bit as I studied psychology and all of that. And one of the things that I learned was, a, you know, abandonment, the idea of abandonment and the idea of suffering and the idea of trauma. And I started believing that so much had happened in my life that I could break if something else strong happened. And it frightened me so much because I didn't want to break. And then remembering that the human spirit is strong and it's resilient and that there's no breaking. You cannot break ever, no matter what happens to you. And that um, in spite of difficult circumstances, in spite of um, traumatic events, in spite of thinking you're going to break, the nature of being a human being allows us to transcend and to um, walk through the heaviness. With, with, uh, with our capacity to get on the other side and remember that we're whole. Remember that what happens to you is not who you are, it's just something that happened and it hurt, but that it has absolutely no power to define you because we are not the result of what happens to us. We are much more what happens to us happens to us kind of like a Snapchat, you know, just at the moment. This is what it looks like, but you transcend that. It is the nature of a human being to do that. I learned that pretty early on, but I, um, I would have loved to know that with this clarity earlier. There are many people in the world, there are many people that are suffering, and it feels to them like they're going to break, like this is, this is going to rupture their spirit, to rupture them as a human being, and understanding that that's not possible, that there is this capacity in all of us to transcend. That's brought me peace of mind time and time again. Um, I wish all human beings would know that in the world.